simple problem. This one, there will be no uh, pre-poll involved. This car is going at 20 miles per hour when he notices a speeding car 100 feet ahead driving at 80 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. Okay. <laughs> it's way, way over. So he's going to put down his donuts and stuff like that, right? Uh, you know that joke always, police are eating donuts, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... Um, so let's assume the police takes So let's say the police takes about two seconds to react and put on the siren and accelerate. So the police takes about two seconds to react and put on the siren and accelerate at a constant rate of, and again, it has to be constant rate for, so that we could use the equations of kinematics, at a constant rate of, let's say the police can accelerate at uh, something like, uh, this would be quite fast, let's say something like nine feet per second squared. So I'm trying to envision here a realistic sort of scenario. Okay, the police sees the speeding car, takes about two seconds, puts on the siren, accelerates. The other guy hears the siren, and one second later, he accelerates. Okay? At, uh, let's say, not as fast. Hopefully not as fast, right? <laughs> So what I want to know is, uh, and if the accelerations keep up at that, that rate, uh, eventually the police will catch up. Because if, if the police maintains a faster acceleration, they will catch up. Eventually, you're going to reach a certain speed. The, uh, at, with this problem, I'm not going to assume the cars have a certain maximum speed. That would complicate the problem a little too much. Okay? Uh, we could add that complication maybe for extra credit problem. Uh, cars have a certain maximum speed they reach, then they maintain that, and uh, can just catch up with the car. So that, in, in reality, it could be a little more complicated. But let's assume they don't have a maximum speed, can just keep accelerating. So we, I can ask, when does the police catch up to the car? Okay. <clears throat> when and where...
So this will be one of those high-speed races through the streets of LA that we see every two weeks. Okay. When and where uh, does the police catch the car? And how fast is each one traveling? The police uh, is going to be traveling faster when they catch up, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't catch up. All right. So how fast is each one traveling? So a good picture is uh, important for this because we have several stages of things that are going on, right? Um, so the police is initially here, 20 mile per hour, and they see the car here, 80 mile per hour. So that's from here to here. Well, I'm assuming here the distances are measured from the front to the, or maybe from the center to the center. So don't worry about the actual size of the car. Okay, so from the center, from the center of this to the center of that, that's going to be uh, 100 feet. Okay, that's the initial condition of the problem. You see the car, they're, they're speeding. So then the next thing that happens, for about two seconds, this guy is still um, not accelerating. So, so for two seconds, nothing really changes much, right? So this, this police comes here, and then that one goes over here. They're going to cover more distance, right, during that two seconds. So they're going to end up here. Okay, so this is t is equal to two seconds. So the speed of the car, of, of either car, is not changing in the two seconds. The only thing that is changing is the distance between them during the two seconds. They're getting farther apart, right? So, uh, so this one's still going 80 mile per hour. Okay, so let's uh, change the units, by the way. Let's change from mile per hour to uh, feet per second, okay? So everything is given in feet or seconds, so might as well change the speed to feet per second. So if you want to go from mile per hour to feet per second, Uh, one mile is 5,280 5, feet. Okay, so 20 mile an hour is going to equal uh, 20 times. feet per second. So that's the piece's uh, uh, speed. And then 80 mile an hour is going to equal, well, I could just apply that by 4. 117.33 feet per second. Okay, so now I can do something with this. I can say, okay, during the first two seconds, nothing's changing, so let me find out the distance that each one covers. During the first two seconds, this guy covers a distance of 29.33 times 2. So this one from here to here is uh, 58.66 feet. 